Hey guys, welcome back. A couple of months ago I did a video on how to find the right bra for you and I said in that video that I wanted that to be a bit of a series. So today I am back with the second video in that series and it is going to be how to find the right jeans for you. If you are new to my channel I would love it if you'd subscribe. I upload a new video every single week. I've always struggled to find jeans that fit just right because I've got a bit of an hourglass figure so I have wider hips and then a smaller waist. So the problem that I tend to find with jeans is that if they fit my hips they will be too loose around my waist or if they're small enough to fit my waist then there's not enough room around my butt and my thighs. So what ends up happening is you buy the ones that fit your butt and then they're too big around the waist and then every time you sit down and stand up you've got to hoist them up again. I am not the biggest fan of adjusting my clothes in public. I think it just looks a little cheap. But at the same time, it can be really difficult to find a pair of jeans that do fit you perfectly. So with that in mind, I'm going to share with you some of my tips to find a pair of jeans that will fit you. Firstly, we have to talk about sizing. If you try a pair of jeans on and there is a gap around your waist where the jeans don't sit against your skin, then they're too big. Alternatively, if they are digging into you anywhere and it's really uncomfortable, then they're too small. Take this with a grain of salt though because jeans do tend to stretch out about half a size once you've worn them a few times and put them through the wash. So if they're just a little bit tight then they might be okay but if they're really really uncomfortable when you try them on then they probably won't stretch enough. Then there are different styles of jeans. So the first thing to think about is the waistband. Generally you've got three options for your waistband. It can be high waist, regular waist or low waist. This is really just a matter of personal preference. I find that high-waisted jeans look quite flattering on most body types, but you've got to make sure that the waist is small enough that they're not going to fall down. I have tricks for that coming in a moment. I know people that would never wear low-rise jeans, and at the same time I know people that would never wear high-rise jeans, so it's totally up to whatever you like the look of and whatever you feel the most comfortable in. Then there's the different fits. So there's skinny jeans which are just tight everywhere, there are straight leg jeans which are a bit more fitted at the top and then looser at the bottom. There's girlfriend jeans, boyfriend jeans, boot cut jeans, all the different jeans. And again, that's just a matter of personal preference. People used to be really into skinny jeans and I did as well and now everyone's kind of moved into more relaxed fitting jeans. So have I. But there's nothing wrong with any of the styles. It's just what you feel like wearing and what fits. So you probably knew everything that I've just told you about to be perfectly honest. So let's move into my tips for how to find jeans that you aren't going to have to hoist up every five seconds. When you take your jeans into the changing room and you put them on, put a thumb or a finger on your back at the top of the waistband. So wherever the waistband comes up to on your back, put your thumb right there so it is touching the waistband of the jeans. First test is to do a squat, not a half squat, all the way down. The waistband won't be touching your jeans while you're in your squat, but when you stand back up, the jeans should end up touching your thumb back where they started. If they do that, they've passed the first test. If they don't come back up and touch your thumb, then you know you're gonna have to hoist them up every time you bend over. Test number two is do a little jog on the spot. Jeans normally pass this test to be honest, it's not the best indicator of whether or not they're going to stay in place, but if they do start slipping down while you're doing a little bit of a jog on the spot then you know they're not the right ones for you. And the third test is similar to the first one, again you put your thumb on your back where the waistband ends and then lift one knee at a time as high as you can, do that a few times and then see if the waistband has shifted at all. If it has, again it's going to be a pair of jeans that you're going to have to hoist up throughout the day, if it hasn't moved then you are probably good to go. The other option is adding a belt of course which personally has never worked for me which is why it's so important for me to find a pair of jeans that stay in place on their own but that option is always there. Those are my tips for how to find the pair of jeans that fit you perfectly. These are the tips that I use every single time I'm trying on a pair of jeans. Hopefully this helped you out. If you do have any other tips for finding the perfect fit of jeans then leave them in the comments below so we can all get some more ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you do have a request for which video you'd like to see next in this series leave it down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!